I'm in the middle of doing my yearly fight against weeds, and I've been using ground clear for years. But just yesterday, a friend told us about, hey, why don't you try using vinegar? Now, you can use vinegar in your salad dressing. This seems pretty innocuous versus you wouldn't want to touch a drop of this stuff. So I figured, what the heck, let's try it out, see what happens. Here's the test bed. I'm gonna be using ground clear on this side and I'll be using the vinegar on this side because at some point we'll be using this granite. I'd rather not be touching the chemicals. I've got ground clear loaded up. This kind of ground clear calls for 24 fluid ounces of ground clear for every one gallon of water. So I put in just under half a gallon. The 24 ounces translates into 0.188 gallons. So I've put just under half a gallon and two gallons of water inside of this tank. Let's try it out. Now I'm applying distilled white vinegar, not diluted at all. Come back tomorrow see how it looks. Here we are at the 24 hour mark. A little surprised at the results. I've used ground clear in the past and normally these little bitty weeds would already be shriveled by now and instead we have just a little bit of shriveling at this big weed but it's not there yet. On the vinegar side it's a real mixed bag. You can see there's quite a few that are shriveled up. They're not coming back but some of these others just laughed at it. I had looked online at other blogs that had used vinegar in the past. I wanted to see the performance on their yard before I tried it on mine. And it looked pretty immediate. So this surprises me a little bit. However, I'm sure it depends on the weeds. This year's crop seems pretty hardy. I set up a time lapse and I was going to put it right before the shot, but it was really, it was really uh, uneventful. You can see a little bit right at the beginning where some of the leaves bent over and I'll add it at the end if you're interested in checking it out but it was a little lackluster. What I hope is that it, this still continues to work and I'll see these weeds disappear over a little longer period of time especially on this side but I think I will have to extend out this experiment. I thought this would be closer to a 24-hour experiment and not only could it take longer for the weed killer to work, but also what is the performance over the rest of the year? So I'll see you in a few months. The first part of the video was filmed on February 2nd. It's now March 20th, a month and a half has passed. It's rained once a week, pretty much almost every single week in that amount of time. And you can see there's a stark difference in between the two sides. See over here, that's the old huge weed on the ground clear side that it eliminated over some time. And there's a crop of weeds that's growing pretty well on the vinegar side. So despite the fact that there's a new and improved ground clear formula, it still is very effective. It's just not immediate as it used to be. So now it's time to pull weeds and put down some more ground clear. There you have it. If you need a fast solution, the weeds need to be gone tomorrow, try out vinegar. However, know that when you're doing that, you're probably going to have to reapply it more often. If you want a lower maintenance solution, you apply it once, forget about it, but you can wait for a little more than a day. Ground clear is a solution. So you've got two different ways that you can kill the weeds in your yard. I will update the description below when we hit one year so you can see what are the results of the ground clear, how is it doing with the one year claim, and please like and subscribe to support more videos like this. Remember, no job done right just needs paint.